certainly every department here has a, a, a police pursuit policy in place and there's a lot of variables you take into consideration certainly one of, in this case one of the primary things considered is what is the reason you're attempting to, to apprehend this person and as the as sheriff Bevere stated we knew he was involved in a shooting incident in Lenaway County uh, was believed to be in possession of a handgun so the need to apprehend him um, was great to start but then once he started firing at law enforcement officers um, the, the need to apprehend him became even greater and um, I, I don't have the speeds of the pursuit available um, to be honest I, I don't know them but I can tell you just from watching the body cam footage this was not a super high speed pursuit uh, the speeds never got uh, way up you know in excess of where we would be looking at this and saying are, are these speeds too high um, to continue but in this serious of an incident um, the need to apprehend and to protect the public was was very great was much greater than um, the risk posed if we decided to let the guy go so th there's just so many different factors that come into play in these situations and, but ultimately it comes down to what the, the reason we needed to get him into police custody um, was great in order to protect the, the public. Now I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every law enforcement officer that put their life on the line during this event. In the face of extraordinary danger, they showed incredible courage and unwavering dedication